The Spanish Inquisition dates back to 1478. This state institution existed for more than three and a half centuries. It all began when the royal couple of Isabella of Castile and Ferdinand of Aragon decided to purge Spain, which by that time united several kingdoms of dissenters. The status of heretics included Jews and Moors. Trade and usury, which they engaged in, brought huge profits. But they refused to pay taxes to the church. The royal couple could not accept this state of affairs. The essence of the Inquisition was to search for and further investigate and conduct investigations. The very name came from the Latin word investigation. Inquisitors searched for citizens who spread heresy and committed crimes against Christian faith and morals. By brutal torture and violence, they extracted confessions from heretics and tried the godless. Death sentences were carried out by the state authorities. Spain had a very developed system of denunciation. Citizens wanted to show off for the new organization, and they wrote denunciations with incredible frequency. But accusations on paper were not enough. The inquisitors had to scrutinize the veracity of the information and conduct an investigation. Evidence of heretical guilt was sometimes very difficult to gather, so the main thing was not the true guilt or innocence of the suspect, but his confession. The inquisitors were firmly convinced that only brutal physical torture would save the soul from the devil's temptations. They saw their great and honorable mission in helping those who had strayed to purify themselves from the abomination that had settled in them. The inquisition did not only fight against dissenters, it was entrusted with other tasks. The royal couple of Spain ordered to eradicate witchcraft, magic and superstition. Bigamy and insults were forbidden. Jews, Moors, Lutherans, and Illuminati were under the watchful eye of the oppressors and were punished for the slightest transgression. Jews and Moors were considered second-class people, and they tried to expel them from the territory of Spain. To be fair, it must be said that Jewish communities were given the choice of leaving the country or accepting the Catholic faith. Very few people became so-called visgrusistas. The bulk of the Jews did not betray their faith. The Moors were treated somewhat differently. They were not only rich, but also very noble citizens. Serious conflicts with them could lead to unpredictable consequences. But the discontent of the natives with their neighborhood was becoming very great. They did not want to assimilate and constantly revolted. In the 16th century, the situation reached a breaking point. The revolt of the Moors was crushed. Many were executed and the rest were expelled from Spain. The methods the inquisitors used in torture were very cruel, but sympathy for human suffering was absolutely alien to them. The main thing was to get a confession from an exhausted person on the verge of life and death. The Spaniards were very inventive, and their instruments of torture were very diverse. The Spanish boot clamped the foot of the accused and acted as a vice. Screws were used to tighten the boot and the foot was squeezed. The pain was unbearable. The person would either make a confession or lose consciousness. If he agreed with the accusation, the heretic could even be left alive in some cases. But this was a mockery, for after a few weeks he would die in his home of blood poisoning and gangrene. Often the inquisitors used suspension. The victim was suspended by his hands tied behind his back and weights were attached to his legs. Torture was used to obtain confessions. In this position, the person suffered a lot, but did not die from pain and shock. People were also tortured by keeping them awake. At first glance, compared to the torture instruments used, such an ordeal seemed quite innocent. But the human body cannot do without rest. Sleeplessness in a short period of time led to the accused beginning to see hallucinations, ceasing to understand reality, and slowly going insane. Water torture, stretching on the rack, spiking. Such inhumane methods of torture were used in medieval Spain for the sole purpose of obtaining a confession and execution. Often an innocent man was put to death, but no one cared anymore. The rampant inquisition allowed the church authorities, with the support of the state, to keep complete control over the lives of citizens and to eradicate those who had their own point of view or religion. The Christian faith of the time became the main political tool in the intimidation and suppression of infidels. The subservient parishioners were supported and nurtured by the church in every way possible. And faithful Christians, taking out their anger and hatred on heretics, witches, and sorcerers, worshipped the new church gods with reckless abandon.